Just waiting for Jeremy with his pasty. Is it a pasty or a sausage roll? Steak bake. He's got a steak bake to eat during my reading, I think. I won't have anything yet. I'll just starve. There's Jeremy with his steak bake. You put that anywhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> You'll get sponsored by Martin the Bakers. <laughs> We've already been to the venue and had a little look in and met Michelle from the bookstore who runs B for Butterfly Books. And uh, we nipped out to have a walkabout. But it's almost time to go back. It's one of our places we come to for the shops anyway, for the charity shops. So we know it really well. Um, we've already had a look at the place and Jeremy's looked through the window of the venue and our friend Rosie is already there at the previous reading. And she said, she was listening and she suddenly saw Jeremy's face at the window, which is a bit Wuthering Heights actually thinking about it. Is that what I'm thinking of? <laughs> or Frankenstein, maybe. Something gothic anyway. Anyway, so it's my turn now to go around and go and do my my thing. We found this fruit and veg shop where they have plants. And they've got where is it? Pineapple plants. With baby pineapples. I think we've got to get one. <laughs> We're right outside the Withington uh, Public uh, Something Institute and I'm ready to go in and do my turn. I don't know if I can actually record it or if the sound would be good enough. I might try it. If not, I'll tell you afterwards what I did. <laughs> Same old thing probably. They've done everything really nicely. There's stuff everywhere about it. And the bookshop upstairs. It's really sweet and complete with everybody's books. Hello again, it's um, Sunday morning and uh, well, my voice sounds deep and rough today. <laughs> um, yesterday was a wonderful day out at the Withington Book Festival, which is a brand new literary festival in South Manchester, a proper homegrown grassroots festival. Um, in this amazing building, the, uh, the bit we were doing was in the Public Institute in Withington, which is um, kind of an old, uh, pub or working men's club on three floors, very narrow, in the middle of the high street, just about, and um, it's been taken back by the community and run as a non-profit with events going on, and it's it's kind of slightly run down and funky, um, but really homely. Um, and all the events that I was at uh, were there, and I was doing a book signing in the attic with B for Butterfly Books, and they had a stall out with um, lots of my recent books on, and everybody else's, a real mixture of books. It wasn't a kind of, the festivals that you often see, where it's a whole bunch of TV chefs who've decided to write children's books, or, you know, um, best-selling thrillers or whatever. This was a mix of all sorts of things, all by people who live in South Manchester, and the organisers, um, Kirsty and Helen and others, the team there, had found all of us people who are um, writers working in South Manchester, and they had us on doing uh, Q&As and readings and workshops. There was workshops at the Baths, but every detail was just lovely. They had um, artwork and um, bunting for their festival, themed bunting, in the windows of all the the charity shops in town, and they all had book displays on. It's a tiny little part of town, Withington. 
And so it was a very nice feeling. A whole bunch of my friends turned up unexpectedly from um, our neck of the woods, but also from Salford and from uh, uh, Wales. Um, so it was a lovely, lovely gathering of people, small gathering, but um, it was great. And Helen interviewed me and asked me all about my um, different aspects of my career. I wish I'd filmed it. Um, I felt a bit as if I shouldn't, though, because it was I think it was Helen's first interview she'd given on stage like that at an event. It didn't seem fair to uh, spring <laughs> this on her saying it's going to be on YouTube. So I just talked <laughs> and um, and we talked about Elsie Mason and about Doctor Who and about this YouTube channel and about starting out as a reader and starting out as a writer. And 45 minutes flew by. And then it was time to um, go for a drink and go to Fuel Cafe for uh, halloumi fish finger burgers. And then, um, and then the evening finished with going to see our friend Mike playing his electro pop live at the Talleyrand as Music by Machines. And the fifth anniversary party for Overdraft Pub. Uh, which is a really good pub where Jeremy often does DJing on Levy High Street. And then we bought noodles and chocolate and came home and watched telly very late. So it was a long, fun day in Withington and Levenshume with friends and literature and all the good stuff and music. Um, I sent my congratulations to the women who organised Withington this morning by email and messenger. A um, bit surprised to hear that um, they are kind of funding the whole thing themselves with their own money. They got a local council grant, not much, the kind of thing they give to a jumble sale or whatever. Which is weird when there's huge literature festivals going on, you know, in Manchester. All this council funded stuff, arts council funded stuff, where they show off about being kind of world class and all of this. And they get the usual... TV stars and, you know, um, American people and famous people to do events. And that's the thing they fund. It's crazy. It's crazy. Everything's upside down. When things are organised by people who actually know about literature, who know about events, it's quite different. And the days feel like yesterday did. It's how literature festivals used to feel. I would go to the Ilkley Festival and it would be lovely. Um, and now you look at the brochures for these things and it's all TV chefs and TV quiz show hosts and just rubbish like that, celebs. Or famous writers that you just see in every Waterstones. I loved the mixture yesterday. I love learning about new writers who are doing their thing, who might have been going for years, that I haven't heard about yet. Um, that was the joy of going to literature festivals. Lancaster was like that when I was a student, and I hope it's still like that. I think festivals should be kept at grassroots level, and they should grow out of the place organically, but they should be funded by the Arts Council, by New Writing North, by the Arts Council North, by the council. They should be looked after. People shouldn't be out of pocket for putting these things on rant over but I just feel like we've slipped back into some kind of weird primitive world um, where they've ruined things really um, only the posh and the famous are allowed to do things in the arts I'm talking specifically about the arts and culture um, yeah anyway it was a great blow for um, the local, the idiosyncratic, the eccentric, the um, the people doing the real stuff. <laughs> That's how it felt yesterday. And I'm not saying that because they asked me. <laughs> but I do feel as if I'm doing the real stuff. Um, and, yeah, I'm just shocked to find out that, that these things are... Oh, it's not a shock, is it, to find out that things are only happening because of the love and the... Uh, energy and the passion that real people put into them and you go to some of these other things and they're flaky and you know uh, they have too much money
I, sh I wish I could get into specifics <laughs> and really say what I mean. <laughs> anyway, not to put a dampener on any of it, it was great and we had such a good time, such good fun. And I wish I'd filmed bits. I started filming outside in Withington, but then uh, Jeremy was eating a pasty on the street and he got cross because he doesn't want to be filmed eating pasties on my YouTube channel, he says. Which is very funny. He got quite grumpy. Um, yep, that's everything I think for today. I'm going to have a quiet day uh, reading today. I've got to finish this Mary Higgins Clark. She's slightly outstaying her welcome. But that's because I've not had a chance to sit down and and read properly. Also, my eyes feel a bit tired. Um, and the print's small. I know I keep going on about print being small. Um, yeah, so reading today, I'm not going to go anywhere. We have nothing in particular to do today, apart from cook some food. And that's good. We've had a week of being here, there and everywhere, but really enjoying the kind of cultural life of of Manchester, of live gigs, of um, uh, going to a National Trust park and seeing a a literary site like Alderley Edge and going to a, a local literature festival. This is all magical stuff and we're very lucky. Uh, but I need some quiet days in to concentrate again on, on reading and uh, finishing, hopefully soon, this novel that I've been on with all year and then going on to the next thing that needs doing. Okay. I'm going to go now. Socks is asleep on my lap. I have coffee. It's late in the morning. Uh, yeah, that's everything for today, I think. I'll see you again uh, very soon. And uh, happy reading. I'll see you again soon in the next episode. Goodbye.